welcome to TWEC Daily Devotions. We are the Samuel Brothers. Hi! Today, our scripture verse is taken from Romans chapter 10, verse 9. Romans 10, 9. But if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and shall believe in thine heart, that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. What shall I do to be saved? What shall I do to spend my eternity with Christ? I'm here to tell you that all you have to do is invite Christ into your life. Firstly, you ask Him to forgive you of your sins, your wrongdoings, and your shortcomings. Then invite him into your heart and ask him to be your Lord and Savior. That decision is so simple but yet so important. In fact, it is the most important decision that you will ever make. True, indeed. You are never too young or too old to accept Jesus into your heart. Once you have accepted Jesus into your heart, you have to pray to him and read his word daily to develop and maintain a personal relationship with him. Once you have that personal relationship with Christ, you can seek him about anything and everything. And when you pray, you have to have faith that you will receive what your heart desires. And boys and girls, in God's perfect timing, He will answer your prayers. The Word of God stated that He promised to never leave us nor forsake us. He is always with us. Even if we may fail at some times, He never fails. He always remains faithful no matter what takes place. Boys and girls, mummies and daddies, if there is ever a time that we need Jesus, it is known. So I encourage you, give your life to Christ. Make Him your Lord and Savior today. As my brother said, boys and girls, this is the most important decision of your life. So if you haven't made Christ the Lord and Savior of your life, I encourage you, do it today. You can do this by just saying a simple prayer that you mean from your heart. Repeat after me. Dear God, forgive me of all my sins and shortcomings. Come into my heart, Lord. Wash me in your blood and guide me. I thank you for saving me and setting me free, Lord. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. And boys and girls, Welcome to the family of the Lord. As we come to the close of our segment, we would like you all to remember the scripture verse which is taken from Romans chapter 10, verse 9. Bye! Bye. See you all next time. God bless you.